<gasps> it's Sable or Mabel! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! <clears throat> anyway, hello everyone. This is Tom Nook. It is 9.36 a.m. on this happy Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. The day before my birthday! Now for today's news. Oh my stars, would you believe it? There isn't any! What? I built a bridge yesterday, Tom. Come on. Hmm. Well, they do say that no news is good news, so just enjoy another peaceful day on Wildberry. That's all from me. Bye now! <laughs> oh my goodness, guys! Good morning, good morning! And yes, I am so sorry that we missed our double daily episodes yesterday. By the time the big adventures that we did collecting up all of those rugs from Sahara finished processing, it was almost midnight my time. I need to remember, it takes quite a while for our wonderful daily adventures to show up on YouTube. So I'm going to take more care in sharing them with you guys more often and trying to catch up on everything that's going on on Wild Bear island including the new bridge we've got to go see the new bridge oh yes and one of our apple trees has grown you guys we grew this from an apple we planted and now it's a big healthy tree right here behind the museum I am so freaking proud I have so much to show you guys including the housing plots I put down the housing plots that Tom Nook gave us last night so that we can have three new places to put the houses for new villagers, which I'm very excited about. Oh, a tiger beetle! Let's get him, guys. Alright, and... Oh, not close enough. I got him! <laughs> Alright, there we go. What a wonderful thing to start our morning with. Catching beetles, checking out what's going on on the beach, admiring all of the little plants that are growing here along our island inlet. Oh, and it looks like this little sapling isn't in the right place. Oh wait, my pockets are full, so we can't move them just yet, but... <sighs> wow. Good morning, everybody. So, welcome back to Wildberry Island, and I saw Sable, so we're definitely gonna have to visit with her. We have some mail waiting for us, and I have some fun updates to show you guys. So let's start with these housing plots. If you guys remember, yes, oh, another tiger beetle! <gasps> I wonder if they're out because the apples are out, and they're enjoying... Gotcha, you shiny little guy. He's really pretty. Maybe they're enjoying all of the apples being out. Oh, and speaking of apples, we have some new DIY recipes I need to show you guys in just a bit. But these, right here, are housing plots. So when it's time to add more villagers to our wonderful, not-so-deserted island, our research island, Tom Nook will give you housing plots that you put down and you mark them off with these ropes and you have a little checklist of different things that each house needs in order to be constructed. So if you come and look at house number one, the getaway package plot one, construction box. To all construction helpers, please submit items for this building following the specified procedures. So you have to submit interior and exterior items, specific ones, which is unfortunate because I was really hoping just to use all of those rugs and wallpaper and flooring that we collected from Sahara. But for this house, we need an apple chair, a juicy apple TV, and a pot in order to decorate the interior enough for somebody to move in. And the exterior items that you need to put around, like up against this plot, are a stone stool, stone table, and cloth line. So after we build all of those things, then the house will get built and somebody will move in. Isn't that so cool? Each house has their own unique items that they need too. So not all of the items are the same. Oops, I skipped that one too quickly. So in order to help build up Wildberry and bring more researchers to our island, we would need wooden block stereo, wooden block table, and the hyacinth wreath, which I will show you guys in just a minute because it's beautiful. Oh, we're going to be working with all sorts of lovely flowers today. I'm so excited. What a great way to start the morning. And then for the exterior items here, we would need the natural garden chair, the natural garden table, and a bird bath! Oh, I really hope birds will show up at the bird bath. That'll be so exciting. And then finally, for the third plot, we would actually need, for interior, the wooden simple bed, the wooden chair, and the classic pitcher. And for exterior, we would need to have the log garden lounge, log stool, and water pump. 
which is just so much fun. And I don't think after we put those items down, we would have to leave them forever. But we can actually make all of those now. Check this out. Here's the clothesline, which is so ridiculously cute. Here's the simple wooden bed. We've also got the log garden lounge, the log stool. Uh, down here we have the natural garden table and the natural garden chair, which are so pretty. And I love this cute little birdhouse. We've got the classic pitcher. I'm really, really, really in love with this pot. It's just so freaking cute. The stone stool, stone table, bird bath, the water pump over here. Look at this, we've got an Apple chair and an Apple TV that we can make now. Those are so cute. And the Hyacinth Reef, which is just beautiful. I really, really, really love this Hyacinth Reef. I'm so happy we're gonna be able to make it. And then I also found a message in a bottle last night that brought the uh, Matro Oska, which I mispronounced, no doubt, but the Russian nesting doll. So we could actually make Russian nesting dolls and it, put them around the village or give them to people now. But it's so fun to see how much our DIY stuff has just vastly expanded. And now we can make our own ladder in case I ever lose our ladder. But it's just vastly expanded. So we can make so many new things. I'm so excited! And as you guys see, I have kept all of the villagers' houses kind of down in the southwest of our village so that they'll all hang out near Ursula. I thought it'd be really fun to sort of make this a little neighborhood area and do our best to try to leave the northeast or the northwest and the east or the northeast, the north and north east or the the east side of the island basically the the top and the right of the island i thought it'd be really nice to leave that as naturalistic as possible which reminds me i have got more bamboo to plant i went to just one island last night to kind of top off the evening and unwind and relax with my beloved chips and i found another bamboo island so i brought back a couple bamboo trees a whole bunch of bamboo pieces in case we ever learn how to build something with that uh, some white tulip and yellow tulip plants, and I caught a second oarfish! How cool is that? Ah, oh, too bad the oarfish definitely... We could decorate with a lot of fish, but the oarfish in particular is a little bit of a big responsibility for us, so I think we'll go ahead and probably sell this guy. Alright, let's come up to the north. I want to look at... <gasps> the new bridge! Oh, it looks so cool! I love it, I love it, I love it. What a cute little bridge. And now it'll be so much easier to shimmy up and check out what's going on in this huge forest that we've made. I put down a whole bunch of pear trees that I found on a pear tree island here. So I figure for now we can just let this be kind of like a wild fruit forest that we can come and explore to collect tons and tons of fruit to help wild berry continue to grow. Whew. All right, I think that covers everything this morning. Let's go ahead and check. Dream house. Oh, I totally forgot we expanded our house. Yes. Oh my gosh. We've got to go down. We've got to go down and check out our house. I completely forgot that we expanded it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Forget the bridge. We'll go ahead and we'll jump across. Oh, hello, lovely tulips. You know what? We should probably go ahead and put some of the tulips down over here. I feel like this could be a good tulip field so that we could try to start breeding for hybrid tulips and because the flowers attract insects which are very important for our research purposes here on Wildberry Island. We want lots and lots of insects to come and make their home here. Let's see, let's put another white one over here so that we can study the ecosystem of the land. And then we'll put down maybe another yellow one over here. You kind of want to plant them in a crisscross pattern because that will encourage the flowers to grow some hybrids. I'm going to plant this one right here and then we'll plant the last white one over here. There we go. I love it when I'm able just to scoop up the entire plant from visiting the islands. It makes it so much easier to be able to decorate with them. All right, let's go ahead and jump across. Let's check out our new house. My trees are growing! Hello, little koi fish I've been leaving out there. Uh, let's check the mail and then we'll go inside. Oh, the Happy Home Academy sent us a letter. Siri, congratulations. To celebrate the new additions to your home, please accept this small gift. You'll need convenient electronic appliances for your upgraded home. 
Oh, cool. Okay. And I also sent two letters. I sent an umbrella and I sent to Ursula and I sent the extra Nintendo Switch we had to Pierce last night. So I'm hoping that they'll message me back, but we'll have to talk to them and see how they're feeling today. But from the Happy Home Academy, we have got an automatic dishwasher. <laughs> oh, it's a black one. Is this a dishwasher? Or is this, this, this isn't a dishwasher, this is an automatic washer. Oh, for your clothes. Hey, that's really nifty for when my rain boots are covered in mud. <gasps> it's actually running now. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Okay, we've got to go get that. All right, where's my slingshot? Where's my slingshot? Where's my slingshot? Oh, I don't have my slingshot. Quick. I know I have one down here. Oh, Mabel, I'm so excited to see you. I'm so glad I leave random slingshots just scattered out so that I can find them again. All right, where is it now? Uh, let's see, hold. Oh, why aren't you favorited? Okay, we do not want to pop it while it's over the water. We will lose it if it's over the water. <gasps> Look, it's a praying mantis! All right, come here, buddy. Look at him, he's fighting me. Got him. Oh, he's so cool! All right, and then let's go ahead and slingshot. Okay, I gotta get closer. Pull vault. Go, go, go! That could be a super rare item for all we know. Ah! Oh, yay, we got it! All right, first morning present of the day. What do we get? <gasps> Bunny ears! You guys, it's just in time! Just in time for the Easter events that are going to start in April! Oh, I'm so happy about this! Oh, this is gonna be awesome! Okay, that is just absolutely delightful. I won't wear them right now, but we will put them away in our house because I absolutely want to be able to have some bunny ears. But alright! <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and see how the Wildberry Research Center is growing. Apologies that I have been so distracted. It's kind of amazing how much there is to do and how much of a good time we've been having. But as you guys know, this will be our research center, the basis from which we are going to do our best to study the island and have some great adventures. So how have we expanded? The house. Let us see. And have a sip of tea. I have not been drinking enough tea. <gasps> wow! It's so much bigger! Oh, and it's still so relaxing and peaceful in here with all of the rain coming down. I can't wait to read your guys' suggestions for what we should name our little hermit crab, too. This is so nice, you guys. I love it. We need to add in more places where we can have better light. Oh, look at this. This is so peaceful. Yeah, we definitely need to add in some better light, but wow. Oh, this is lovely. All right. Well, we are going to do our best to upgrade the house as quickly as we can so that we can start making different areas for the research we do. As you can see, I have a wide assortment of natural wonders in here at the moment. We've got our classroom pet, our little hamster who still needs a name. We have some lovely little books that I am definitely going to be taking notes in. We have a star piece. This is a large star fragment that I did actually find late last night to my shock, tucked up in the very, very tippy top of the beach where we hadn't walked together. And that is from Wishing on Stars on my, my and Chips' home island and my friend's island. So even though we didn't have a meteor shower on our island here in Wildberry, going to other people's islands and wishing on stars actually managed to get us star fragments that washed up on our island the next day. So that's really great to know if you have a friend who has a meteor shower that night. You can go to their island, wish on the stars, get a large star fragment or star pieces. And if you get enough star pieces, you actually will end up being able to craft a star wand. So we'll talk about the star wand in a little bit. All right, for now, let's see, do I have anything I wanna leave? I'm gonna leave the bunny ears for sure, because those are gonna be so useful. How big is our storage now? 
120 spaces. Oh, what a relief. We're definitely going to be able to decorate quite a bit. I think I'm okay selling the automatic dishwasher. Now that we have it, we'll be able to buy it again if we need. Um, and as you can see, we have a praying mantis over here. So I've decided that all of the special natural discoveries I find, all of the specimens I stumble on uh, that need to go to the museum, I will wait to submit them with you guys. So I found a hermit crab on Chips' Nye's home island last night. I found the three fossils that show up every day here on Wildberry. And I found another praying mantis. They really seem to love the hyacinths being in full bloom. So I'm really happy to collect these guys. But all right, we need to take all this to Blathers. Do I have anything else I'm going to leave in the house? The bamboo shoots. We'll go ahead and put those in storage so we can make more bamboo for our... Can I put these in storage? No. We'll have to plant the bamboo trees. We'll leave all the bamboo pieces in storage. There we go. I can leave the weeds in storage. There. All right. So, whew. What a fun morning! Too bad Pierce and Ursula didn't send me any- Oh, wait, what? what's this? <gasps> Ursula and Pierce did send me something! Yay, Pierce! To my favorite rival, Siri. What a muscular gift. You really know how to juice up my arm day. Well, I've been staring at this paper all day trying to figure out how to say that. It's dark now. Well, don't skip leg day. In it to win it. From Pierce. <laughs> Alright, so we sent him a Nintendo Switch. Maybe he's using Ring Fit in order to get the arm day part in. That's really cute. I really want to become good friends with the villagers that live on our island. They're helping us with our research, after all. And from Ursula... Yo, Siri! No such thing as too many tools. I've always, I'm always wearing mine out or losing them. I can't even guess how many I've buried in the yard. Well, now it's my turn to send something along. Hope it's useful, Ursula of all trades. Well, oh, that's really funny. Look at the like paper she used. I would not have picked this kind of graffiti paper for cute little Ursula. But I gave her the fairy tale umbrella that was for sale at the nookery last night so that we could also be able to purchase it from the nook stop if we ever wanted to get that adorable umbrella ourselves. So what did Ursula send us? A colorless tea. <gasps> she sent me a business suit. <laughs> okay, I'll have to think about what I want to do with that, but that's really cute. Okay. Speaking of suits and things. <gasps> oh, my pansies are blooming. Oh gosh, and there's a ca Oh my goodness gracious, there's just a lot happening all of a sudden. All right, there's a kite butterfly. They're not terribly common. Come here, little one. Oh, so close. I want to catch him. There we go. I think I heard a present down here. No, we're okay. I had to check. Who knows what could fall from the sky next? But getting bunny ears in time for uh, in time for the Easter events that are going to be starting, that's very exciting. April 1st, I think, is when a whole bunch of like the Easter events and the cherry blossom events are going to begin. Oh hey, my brother's playing! Sweet! I'll have to I haven't actually been to my brother's island yet, so I'll have to see what I can do with him later. Alright, let's bury this so we can grow a bell tree. Excellent. And speaking of new outfits that we are getting from friends and from fellow villagers, let's go ahead and Mabel! Hey, hi there! Oh, right! Didn't I see you back at the store a while back? I knew you looked familiar. No worries if you forgot, but my name's Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. We go way back. That's so cute. Ha, huh, little sip of tea. Anyway, that's how I heard about Wildberry, and it came and came out here to sell clothes and stuff. My dream is to open my own shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up a customer base first. I'll try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, alright? Oh hey! Since you're like right here, you wanna see the stuff I'm selling today? Yeah, I'd love to! I would love to get some more outfits, especially if we can get a star wand, and I'll show you how that's relevant in a little bit. There's a colorful striped sweater, bomber style jacket, uh, a little picnic skirt, which is kind of cute for the upcoming season. There's a patch knee pants. Oh, those are cute. There's also the sweetheart dress, 
the uh the heart hair heart hairpin oval glasses simple accent socks and trekking shoes <gasps> i think i love the sweetheart dress and the trekking shoes and i kind of like the patch knee pants because those are really adorable too uh let's get all of them why not let's do it there you are thank you very much mabel very happy to have those oh look at those little pants those are so cute I would really love to be able to change the color and like customize the colors of these. But we'll see how that works in the future. Alright, there you go. Maybe you can't customize the color. We'll have to figure it out. Alright, thank you, Mabel. And then I want the trekking shoes actually, because those look like good shoes for a little biologist who wants to adventure. What would you guys buy if you could get what Mabel's selling today? Let's see. Anything else? I think I'm good. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and get that pink skirt. Just in case it proves to be really useful for cherry blossom season. Because I would love to have something that looks good for that. Alright, there we go. Thank you, Mabel. That'll be everything. What do you think? I'm going to bring different stuff each time I visit, so be sure to stop by. On the days I'm here, I'll be selling first thing in the morning until about 10 at night if you want to stop. If you want to shop. Thank you, Mabel! Oh my goodness! So now we have a whole bunch of really cute clothes. Oh my gosh, I literally filled all of my pockets with the clothes that she has. What is this? <gasps> That's actually so cute! And we've got a little trekking shoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Little- oh. Okay, that's all pretty cute. I think we'll go ahead and keep with our rain boot and our purple rain boots of all things and our fall dress combo for now. Um, but wow, we've actually got hair. What's, what about the collarless shirt now that I'm looking at it? And the new pants that we just got, patch knee pants. Not really, not really. But I'm glad to know that we have some, some degree of options on outfits right now. Not quite what I would pick for all of them, but pretty happy to have them. But all right, so next up, let's donate everything to Blathers. And then we'll go ahead and sell some of the excess stuff to Tommy and Timmy, um, including some of the clothes we got. Now that we actually have purchased them, we'll be able to buy them anytime when we go and visit the Nook Stop. Good morning, Blathers. Here, I'll have a sip of tea while you're waking up. Ah. <sighs> Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Siri. Welcome to the Wild Bear Museum. How may I be of service? All right, let's go ahead and assess some fossils to make him really happy. He loves the fossils. And we'll do fossil, 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 fossil. There you go. And there you are, Blathers. Yay, and he found something that's not part of the collection just yet. Let's go ahead and donate it. The cultural development of Wildberry is a worthy endeavor. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. But think upon what I've said. The museum awaits. Alright, we'll go ahead and make a donation. He is not going to be very happy. Oh, two of them are the same thing! Wow, I can't believe we have duplicates already. But thankfully, we do still have some new stuff that we can give him too. Like the Megacero Skull. And we've got the Archeolon Tail, a Hermit Crab, and a Mantis. Woohoo! Several things I see. There you go, Blathers. Alright, so he's got it now. Nope, that's everything. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Thank you very much, Blathers. Alright, so we've donated more things to him, and I'm actually amazed that we already have fossils that are duplicates. Uh, oh, yay! And because we got the fossils assessed, that actually helps out with our Nook Miles. Which, if you guys can't tell, I have been piling up and cannot wait to spend visiting random islands with you. That's going to be so much fun. Oh, and I can't wait to fill the museum to the brim with so many beautiful creatures. We'll have to make a goal of making sure we catch all of the March creatures before the end of the month. Alright, so let's go over to the crannery and sell all of our extra stuff. Um, I think I want to sell pretty much everything we got. The sweetheart dress, the trekking shoes, and some of these things I might keep and just put in storage. And we'll sell if we need to. Um, the collarless shirt is nice. I, could, I have a friend or two who might really like it. But I gotta think about that. We can always buy them again from the Nook Stop. <gasps> That's terrifying! Nooklings, why? Why do you have this terrifying, terrifying 
creation. I just, I, no, no. Do you guys see how scary this is? No, not Nook Miles. I want to be able to like zoom in on this. Do you see how terrifying this is? No, my sister would be freaked out. She's really scared of little dolls like that. And then there's a very odd little chair. And I mean, the sink might be kind of useful in the future to be able to to work with um, mm, like a lab or something. Uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think today? Uh, what's hot today, actually? Wooden block chair, huh? Huh. Well, I made a whole bunch of wooden swings last night to sell to them. And I think it kind of helped us out. Uh, let's go ahead and sell... I know, I know, selling the extra fossils is a little bit difficult right now, but I think it'll be worth the benefit of being able to build bigger houses. Um, collarless shirt? I could send that to one of my friends. And then we'll keep some of the clothes that we've got. And the automatic washer can go too, so that the nooklings can, like, do some washing. There you go, guys! Oh wow, 25,000 bells! All right, that's quite a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. And then let's see. Do I need to plant any trees? Uh, let's come up here for Nook Miles today. Let's check. Let's see. Sell a hot item for a fortune. Complete DIY projects. Redeem Nook Miles and catch some bugs uh, for our Nook Miles Plus today. Now, one of the things I've been thinking about though, guys, is we might want to be planting some of the normal hardwood trees because those are what are going to turn into the cherry blossom trees during cherry blossom season. Pretty sure at least. Oh, the cute little raindrop umbrella is back. Red hyacinths, orange windflowers, white hyacinths, white tulips, red windflowers. Um, I kind of want to plant maybe some orange windflowers. We'll grab some flowers to plant, because we need to make sure we're taking care of expanding the biological wonders. There we go. And actually, let's buy a couple saplings. We'll buy, we'll buy some bulk saplings, because I do think that we want to plant those on the event island, so that we'll be able to have cherry blossoms during cherry blossom season. Thank you, guys! Alright, I'll see you later! And then what else should we work on today, guys? At least this morning. Oh, and a butterfly! All right, let's go ahead and catch it. Where'd you go, friend? Oh, he came right up to me. <laughs> he was totally ready. I think, oh, there's another one! And, oh, missed. Gotcha. So cute! <laughs> I think we should make some uh, make house number one's items for DIY projects and I think it would be so much fun to be able to show you guys our special DIY recipes like the juicy apple TV, the apple chair, and the hyacinth wreath which are all exclusive to our island because we began with hyacinths and because we began with apples. And I think either today or maybe next time or later today we will show off the star wand because it is absolutely amazing too. Yeah, I like this. We want to we want to help grow the island, but we also want to continue our projects with planting different flowers. Oh, and I think there's actually a few places around here. Let's see. Are these, oh, there's my watering can. I was wondering where I put that in my axe. But there are a few places around the island that are beginning to have thought I heard a balloon again beginning to have some of the hybrid plants that I definitely need to show you guys. So that's going to be really exciting too. Gosh, there is so much to do. <gasps> money does grow on trees. It's our very first money tree. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. Okay. I definitely want to, I definitely want to show this off. This is so cool. All right. Other tree, you're literally in the way. <laughs> Could you not? Could you not? I mean, this does work. Okay, there we go. Let's do surprise. So cute! So cute! Little Siri, why are you so cute? <laughs> Alright, there we go. How many bills did we get from this? This will be a normal tree after this. Nice! Uh, nice, I love it. But you do get a little bit of money for growing a money tree. I think it only gives you money once, though. And then it doesn't give you any more 
in the future. It's just a normal tree now, but that's okay. Having a money tree is really cool. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that, and plant a tree. It's almost like I knew that was gonna happen. And doing the morning gardening is actually an important part of our work. Oh, a fly! I saw him, he landed on my, on my tire. I know it seems weird to leave a dirty tire out front, but it's all for the sake of being able to catch some flies and things like that. All right, there we go. Um, now what? Let's go in and see what's for sale in the Nook Stop this morning. And let's see how much we could put towards our loan. Because I think that would be really exciting. Oh. Well, hello there, Siri. Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have even a little extra space. Which brings us to... The cost of your model. That will be 198,000 bells, hmm? Ah, yes. Please make your payments using Nookstop's ABD feature, as you've done before. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. I'll go ahead and see. Let's see how much we can put towards our debts. Yay! Six days in a row, we have got our daily bonus Nook Miles. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Nook Shopping. What's for sale today? <laughs> the Nintendo Switch is for sale again. So Chips and I really didn't need to grind to get as many bells as we did that one day. I should have known it would be okay. Then there's the tricycle. We have Sporty Shades, Bear Tea, Chow Tea, the Denim Cutoffs, Water Shoes, which would be really fun for, say, like doing a fishing event maybe. And then there's KK Oasis. I wish you could like listen to these before you buy them. I kind of want to buy all of the KK songs, but I kind of want to pay off my house more than that. Also, we can go ahead and see... Oh, we can buy bunny ears! Yay! Colorless shirt. You can see what you can get. Look at all these things. Yeah, we'll be able to rebuy all of the clothes that we've been looking at. Furniture we've obtained. Look at all these things. Yeah, this will be fine. You can't buy the peach stuff because my friend has to like make it on his peach island for us, but we can buy everything else. Oh, wow, that writing desk sells for a lot. I found a writing desk from a balloon and it's been sitting in my storage. I've just been waiting to show it to you guys. Uh, oh, I could send everybody a whole bunch of wasp head models. That would be so cool, but I don't think my friends would appreciate that. And then, what is the top thing? There are a few things, like the automatic washer. Apparently, we can buy the variation colors of it, which I think is pretty fun. All right. And then, this one is where you can see, like, all of the, like, the berry chocolate flooring, blackboard wall. Fossils are not for sale. Um, oh, gosh. Like, a lot of the things that I actually sold are not for sale. For the exclusive rugs it looks like the normal rugs you can actually or the wallpaper and the flooring you can't buy but it looks like the normal rugs you can actually buy which is good to know oh that misty garden wall i am so glad we have the misty garden wall so good to know that you can like stock up on the rugs and just sell them and then later if you change your mind you can go ahead and rebuy them oh okay shanty mat look at all these things nice all right, it's just good to know that we can like buy all of those things again if we needed to. All right, let's do ABD. How much of our debt can we pay off? Uh, I also have a ton in savings. So pay from savings. We'll go ahead and pay all of our savings towards the house that we now owe. Because we're going to be diligent like that. And then we'll pay from pockets. And we'll just pay the full amount. And then that will be our goal, to knock down the remaining basically 80,000 bells so that we can continue to expand Wildberry Research Center. Uh, if I... Okay, um, we're good. All right, there we go, guys. So what do we have left? Well, we have some clothes to put away, some trees and bamboo shoots and flowers to plant. We have some wa things to water. So I think we'll do some morning gardening to kind of unwind. And then when we come back in the afternoon, which I am determined to do this time, we will go ahead and we will start building up the houses so that we can have more people come and join us at researching the Wildberry Research Center. Uh, also, let's see. So I need to plant the bamboo trees. Where do we want to plant these wind flowers? I was thinking it'd be kind of nice to put them 
down over here, sort of like at the entrance of where people walk in. Oh, it's one of the citrus bugs. A new specimen, guys. That guy tends to be really skittery. So if you want to catch him, make sure you sneak up on him when he's on one of these tree trunks. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do some watering. I really should spread these guys out a bit more. But where should I actually put the windflowers? Hyacinths would be the best to show off to everybody since, you know, it's a hyacinth island. So maybe we'll plant the windflowers down here by the edge of the beach for now. I think that would be really pretty. We'll plant a red one. We'll plant an orange one. We'll try to vary it up a little bit. Whoops, that doesn't really help vary. That also does not help vary. Come on, you guys. You need to be spread out a little bit more. I'm trying to make it so that we can get some propagation going on here. All right. We'll plant them properly. Like I said, you want sort of that diagonal patterning. So that was orange. So let's go ahead and plant the red one. Little red windflower sprouts right here. And another one right here. There we go. Orange one up here. Very nice. And then give it enough time, these little ones will start flourishing on their own. Maybe we can put one up here. I swear I hear... <gasps> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew I heard something! Alright, we want to make sure it's probably not over the house, but it's not. So come on. It's just in front of Ursula's house. I, that'd be kind of funny if I missed and Ursula was like, what are you doing? Ah, sorry, Ursula. <laughs> Just like throwing a bunch of little rocks at her house. All right, let's see. What did we get from the sky this time? <gasps> Piano bench? Hacken? <laughs> I wonder if you can get a piano then. That is so interesting. All right, I'm going to put that away. Let's wiggle down here and then let's see what else we've got. Then I've also got here. And it was so fun seeing what your guys' favorite fruits were the other day. So now I'm curious, out of all of the flowers that you have seen, which ones are your favorite? I personally am a huge fan of the hyacinths because I love how they look like flowers that are just clustered up upon themselves. Tight little flower clusters. And one of my most special memories I actually have of my dad is when he told me that his favorite flowers are the ones that look like they are a whole bunch of little flowers inside a flower. And that just stuck with me for a long time. He likes the tight little clustered flowers like that. And I remember thinking how cool it was that I knew my dad's favorite flower. It's always just stayed with me. There you go, little ones. I hope you all grow well and will provide us with many wonderful hybrids. Oh look, we got a new flower tender! If you encourage floral growth by showering this island's, uh, the island's flowers with water, I'll encourage your growth by showering you with nook miles. Yay! We've actually, we're a careful gardener now! Wow! Look at how much we've been watering the flowers. We have watered like over a hundred flowers now. Isn't that excellent? That is definitely something that a wild berry institute should be able to celebrate. All right, there you guys go. I know I watered you already, but I forgot. So you get more water. All right. Then let's come over to our special event island. And ho yup. Oh, hey! Wonderful, we've actually got, let's see. Yeah, we've actually got our fossil for the day. Oh wait, what's this? <gasps> it's a bamboo shoot! The bamboo we planted here was actually spreading. Well, that's kind of fun. What's over here? And here's our fossil. Nice! But I do want to tidy up Event Island, and I do want to plant more of the normal trees. Let's see, that's not going to be enough space for it to grow. And I guess we don't have to plant the normal trees here. We can move them after we have had them grow all the way up. So that... There, we'll plant one tree there. But these normal hardwood trees that aren't special fruit trees or anything, 
I think will be the ones that look so pretty for the cherry blossom season. And if that's the case, I want to make sure they just have plenty of space. And we'll thin these out. We won't keep all of the, the saplings when cherry blossom season comes. Ah, oh no. That's not what I wanted to do. Come along. And there we go. But we'll go ahead and get them growing so that we'll be prepared when the time comes. Also, what are you doing sneaking around back there, little butterfly? Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's go ahead and plant the rest of the saplings across the river towards the place where eventually my home will be. <laughs> All right, let's see. Little flimsy shovel. I really need to upgrade this shovel. And we'll plant these two down here. That's a clump of weeds. And we'll plant you here. There we go. And we'll plant you right over here. Ha! Ah, since we've been harvesting so much from the islands, it feels really good. Yay! Another fossil! It feels really, really good to be able to return things to the islands too. And take good care of it. All right, let's actually climb up and check on our... <gasps> Look at the bamboo forest grow! Oh, this is going to be so cool up here. All right, let's climb on up. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of this bamboo yet, but <laughs> we'll worry about that later. For now, we're just going to plant as much of it as we possibly can. Which is surprisingly not as much as you would think you could plant, because bamboo is very stubborn about where it wants to go down. All right, let's move some of these weeds so that we have some room. And we'll plant more of the bamboo that I brought back from Bamboo Island last night. Oh, no, no room, no room. But this is gonna be such a cool like shrine area. I can't wait to be able to put in the waterfall. That's really gonna pull us together when we can terraform and have a cascading waterfall coming down from Bamboo Island or Bamboo Mountain. I guess. Bamboo Hills? It's kind of tough to call this thing a mountain, but you know, we could do it from Bamboo Mountain. <laughs> you gotta have some spirit of being like, yeah, this is Bamboo Mountain. And then we'll plant another piece. And this way I'll be able to help any of my friends and the patrons who might need some bamboo, because we have so much of it that they could just come and collect a lot. Alright, anything over here? Nope. I'll search for the special piece of furniture that is inside of one of the trees later. We have so many trees now. It's kind of tricky to be able to find the right pieces. All right, Nook Miles. We made things very happy by planting some trees. So many Nook Miles. It'll be really fun. Tomorrow's trees today. To build a sustainable life on this island, we are going to need to plant a lot of trees. The more you plant, the more miles you earn. Yay! Wow! And so these are actually normal trees and not fruit trees because we've planted plenty of fruit trees. But it looks like for planting normal trees, you actually get a big boost. That's wonderful. We'll try to fill that out because we definitely want to be a tree defender. Okay. Well, with all of that done, I actually want to show you guys something very special. Let me make sure that takes care of most of our morning work. The morning work being gathering some amazing new clothes, visiting with our friends. We got a piano bench from the sky and bunny ears from the sky, uh, giving new donations to Blathers. And I'm going to show you how our garden experiments and our biology experiments are coming along. Oh, and there I think is the fossil, the other fossil of the day. So let's grab that really quickly and dig you up. Come along, my friend. Excellent. Excellent. We'll go ahead and give those to Blathers. Cover that up. But let me go ahead and show you a spot that I got so excited about because our wild experiments in crossbreeding flowers are bearing fruit. Look, you guys. These two flowers have actually gone on to create the pink hyacinth. That is not the native kind of hyacinth. And maybe I need to plant my hyacinths side by side like this. But this pink hyacinth is not the kind that you can actually buy from any of the shops. It is a hybrid color. I am very excited that we now have it amongst our ranks. Let me go ahead and take a picture with the little patch. And so what we can do now, now that we can celebrate joyfully having our first hybrid plants. 
Oh, so cute. Is we'll move these and water them and hopefully they will propagate themselves over time. And then we will come back to this little spot on the cliff where we now know like, oh, this is a really good location to gather up the pink flowers. And we'll check in on that spot regularly. Oh, <gasps> another gift from the sky. I thought I heard that. Man, I wonder how common the balloons are. Maybe there's like always a balloon overhead and you just don't know it. All right, let's see. What's this? Present from the sky? Oh, iron nuggets. Okay, that's very useful in helping us when we later today, I swear. I know it, may, it takes about three hours to, like, process and upload the videos so that you guys will be able to see them on YouTube. And I always forget YouTube's a little slower lately, so we'll have to be careful. It's raining treasures! Yay! We have the atmospheric floaty thing title. That's really cute. But I am going to do my best to have a second, another another episode today because my birthday is tomorrow so I can play all the Animal Crossing I want, I decided. But we're going to do our best to be able to share the sheer excitement. And I wonder if I should put the pink hyacinths over here. I think that would be kind of nice to have like their own little section back here where I can keep an eye on them and they can hopefully propagate on their own. So I'm going to move these guys. Whoops. And then we'll put the pink hyacinths over on this side. So hopefully they will breed and have babies. There we go. One there. Um, Maybe I wanted to move that one over a little bit. You know what? It'll probably be okay if we put them side by side. They're so pretty. But yes, anyway... We'll have a special building episode now that we have had our morning of museum work and we have gathered up our hybrid plants. We have gotten a whole bunch of cool clothes. We have expanded the house. Oh my goodness, there's just so much to do. There we go. Huh. All right, so was there anything else I needed to do? Put those pink hyacinths down. We have some, oh, we'll turn in these fossils to blathers. And then when we come back later today, I am determined we will show off our really awesome apple furniture and build up the houses so that new villagers can come and visit with us, guys. <laughs> Sorry to bother you again, Blathers. But we have a good thing for you. Let's assess these fossils really quickly. Maybe once a week or more often than that, depending on how busy we are, we'll have to do a museum tour. It'd be really fun to do a museum tour and like a Q&A little live stream. I'm still trying to set all of those things up on my new computer. The cultural development of Wildberry is a worthy endeavor indeed. I agree, Blathers, I agree. Thank you very much. Let me go ahead and make a donation. Are all of these new fossils? <gasps> what? Only one of them is a new fossil. The Tricera skull, at least. There we go. Well, I'm going to actually keep the Archaeatrix because I've seen the Archaeatrix um, because I have actually seen it. As herbivores go, Triceratops was unusually well equipped for combat, woot. Its three horns and impressive bony frill probably helped it fight off predators like T-Rex. The frill may have also been involved in temperature regulation or else in attracting mates. Does it seem to you like virtually all distinctive dinosaur features were for body heat or attracting mates? And that is what I have to say about that. Any woot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it fully assembled in the museum. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Thank you, Blathers. All right. There we go. And with that, my friends, the morning work is done. Turning in things to Blathers, we really need to try to make sure we get all of the special March animals, including a string fish. We showed off the bridge, we gathered new clothes, we met Maple. And next time, when we come back, we're actually going to do a little bit of work visiting with the villagers and building up these houses so that we can have more researchers come to Wildberry Island. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful adventures here on the island and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you later bye bye